Hey YouTubers, it's Audra and I'm ready to talk to you about my March favorites. Um, I'm pretty much a traditionalist in the fact that once I find something I like, I don't always switch. So I feel like sometimes my favorites get a little redundant. Um, but I did want to, I tried to pick things that were truly my favorites, even if I've talked about them before, but I tried to pick things that are my favorites that I haven't talked about before. So, at least not before in a favorites video. I've talked about them before, but not in a favorites video. So, anyway, a couple of them I haven't talked about. A couple of them you've seen in a recent haul. Um, but whatever. Whatevs. Let's go on. Um, the first thing I want to talk to you about is, uh, let's start with the nail polish I'm wearing. Let's see if you can see it. Oh, sorry, I hit the camera. There it is. It's kind of a pink with a light shimmer. I talked about it in um, my spring nail polish video I was wearing it then. It's called Susie Petal Faster Susie. It's from the Holland Collection. Oh my gosh. Sorry, my animals. And that's what it looks like. It's a really pretty pink with the light shimmer in it. Um... I just really love it. I think it's a wonderful, like, understated pink color for spring and summer. Um, okay. Moving right along. Sorry, I'm kind of in a weird mood today. I've also really liked, I've done this a couple of times this month. It's the It's a Tin Mask. Um, I've had this forever. It is a little expensive, but you can see I just, I've probably done it ten times. You can see how much I still have because the tube goes the bucket goes all the way down. Um, it smells really good and it's really great for damaged hair. So if you feel like your hair needs a jump start, um, you know, it's frizzy flyaways or you've colored it a lot or you live in an area that has high pollution, this is awesome. Um, you can keep it in your shower or you don't have to. It's got this nice little pop top so you don't have to unscrew the lid. You can just pop it open. Sorry, my animals are crazy today and they're jumping around making my camera move every which way. My goodness. Oh, sorry. So anyway, it's a 10. Try it. Let me know if you like it. Um, yeah. Okay, something I've not ever talked about and I'm actually completely out of this and need to get some more is the Makeup Forever HD Powder. Look. Empty. Um, I purchased. Oh, I just threw it on the ground. What is wrong with me today? I don't even know. Oh, there it went. Sorry. Let me get my stuff together here. And this is the small sample size. Not a sample, but the smaller size. Now, I didn't love it forever. Um, but I recently have rediscovered it and truly loved it. But I'm just saying, like, the full-size one, I don't know how much bigger it is than this one, but it would probably last you well over a year because it's super finely milled. It's a white, translucent powder. It's just awesome. So, anyway, the Makeup Forever HD Powder. I will be repurchasing soon. Something new I tried this month um, was the Stila smudge stick waterproof eyeliner and this one is in the color lionfish and it's a brown with um a little bit of a golden sparkle like not much though i love that it is you don't have to sharpen it it's a roll top um that's the brown color i've been obsessed with you guys know i love brown eyeliner um, so these have just been awesome. I really like the Stila Smudge, Smudge Stick Waterproof. There's some crazy things happening at my house right now. Crazy. Um, sorry, back on topic. I really love these and, um, have definitely even been liking them more than the Urban Decay 24-7s. Which is a big deal for me. I told a friend that and she was like, whoa, that's kind of a big statement coming from you because I'm pretty obsessed with those. So, um, but I really do like them. Yeah. Uh, okay. 
Last month, as I was griping about my glam bag, if you saw that video, um, and I did choose to cancel it, I got this makeup brush in it, which it's supposed to be, it says it's a crease shadow brush, but let me just show you how big it is. Like, what? Like, you'd have to have some ginormous eyes for that to fit in your crease. But what I have been loving it for is to set powder under my eyes because it's nice and big and fluffy and just works perfect for that. And I just kind of take it right there and then down my nose. Um, I've loved this brush for that reason. So, not what it was intended for, but what I love it for. Um... My favorite Bath & Body Works scent this month has been the new Pink Chiffon. This is, um, it's hard to describe. It's sweet. Um, I wish they would describe it for me. It says, oh, an ultra feminine blend of sparkling red pear, vanilla orchid, and whipped chiffon musk. Anyway, if you've not smelled it, it's amazing. I love it. I have the body spray and the lotion. I it just, it's really nice. Um, I also got a new smelly this month that I've loved, and it's Kate Walsh's Billionaire Boyfriend. If I can get, there you go, you can kind of see it. It is totally kind of musky, um, I don't know. I really don't know how to describe this at all. Um, not at all. It just, it's really unique. Um, they do have it at Sephora. So, um, take a smell next time you're there. I love it. And then my kind of non-beauty favorite this month are the Snapwell um, Fudge Drizzled Caramel Popcorn. These are, is this 100 calorie pack? 130 calories for this package. And they're so good. Um, I've been loving them for a while and my husband was hungry the other day and I had one in my purse or something and he ate it. Now he's obsessed with them, so I can't keep them in my house. They're so good. Um, I would get mine at Target or Sam's Club. That's what they are. Um, they also have one that's got like white chocolate drizzled and it's really good. As well as that one. And then let me talk to you about a couple of things that I hate this month. Which, um, I think I talked about them in a haul or something. But they're still sitting here because I'm throwing them away. So let me show you. And it is the Organics Cocoa Butter Shampoo and Conditioner. Oh, I talked about it in Shampoo I Purchased and Sucks video. Um, I took back the other one I talked about in that video. This one, I'm probably just going to chunk. It smells delightful. Mm, I love how it smells, but this just is not great shampoo. I can't believe I wasted my money on it. Oh, sad day. I'm not even going to talk about it anymore because I don't in any way want you to sit there and think, well, maybe it'll be different for me because it won't be. These are terrible products. Please do not purchase them. That's all. Okay, guys, um, let me just tell you quickly about this month's giveaway. Um, you are for sure going to... Okay, here's the prizes. Um, the first one is a Stila smudge stick. Of course it is in Lionfish. Like, big surprise. Um, these are awesome, and I'm excited to give it away and for someone to try it. And then the other will be... A nail polish. Now, I would love to give out this um, Petal Faster Susie that I've talked about in a couple of videos and love so much. But at the time, this was the last one, and I've had a friend look for it, and uh, she cannot find it either. So, if I can't find another one of the OP OPI's Petal Faster Susie from the Holland Collection, um, you may receive this Essie polish in... Muy Caliente, I think is what it's called. Something, it's from their new summer collection. It's also beautiful and springy um, and wonderful. It's just not my faves. It's just not my faves. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Okay, guys, 
Um, let me tell you the rules real quick about entering my March favorites giveaway. You have to be 18 or older or have your parents' permission to give me your address so that I can send you stuff. Um, I think most of my subscribers are older than 18, so that doesn't really matter, matter too much. Um, you have to, you don't have to be a resident of the United States of America. I will ship internationally. Um, you have to be a subscriber. So, um, click up there and subscribe. And then also, you have to comment on this video. Now, I've done this different each time I've done this, but this time I'm going to let you comment as many times as you like. You do want to change up your comment. You know, don't just say hi, 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 because it's going to get marked as spam. And so if someone else has said something, you don't want to say what they say because you both will get marked as spam. So, um... I was going to try to think of something clever that you could comment, um, but I just want you to tell me what your favorite makeup product is. And so if you've got more than one, do them in different comments, but comment as much as you want. Um, sorry, oh my gosh, comment about how annoying my cats are every time the camera shakes because they moved up here. Um, she's so cute though. So cute. Um, okay, comment, just tell me what your favorite product is. Or what you regret buying recently. Comment as many times as you want. Don't forget to tell your friends. And have them come over and comment too. Um, so they have a chance of winning. And don't forget to subscribe. Okay, I think that's all. Um, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye.